So Microsoft actually demolished earnings, but why did they actually tank? So what's the reason for them actually falling? Um, I, I do think that Q3 was an extremely important, um, you know, kind of event for all the tech companies right now. And I think that investors thought that they were going to, you know, that Microsoft as well as other tech companies were going to actually beat Q3 earnings um, with, you know, with a bunch more, um, by a bunch more, right? Um, and also their guidance call was kind of neutral. or well, their earnings call, sorry, was kind of neutral as well as their guidance. So I do think that investors are seeing that a lot of these tech companies are making money, but they're starting to see kind of a slowdown, right? Like we had a peak for Q2 earnings and Q um, and sort of Q3, but, but I think a lot of investors are seeing that, you know, that after, you know, like September, August, those were a lot of peak months. And right now it's kind of like a cool down up until election. So even though Microsoft did kill earnings, I do think it's going to trade sideways until after the election. So, I mean, I, I don't really know what the play here is, but maybe price action would be, you know, buy low, buy it like, I don't know, buy like around these levels and then sell if it hits, you know, like the 220-ish level. But I mean, I, I would say that price action is the way to go right now.